My university is doing research to make agriculture climate proof. We work in areas where climate change is expected to affect agriculture most. A better use of crop seeds forms an important focus of our work. Climate change profoundly affects the conditions of farming. One way in which farmers can adjust is by growing different crop varieties better adapted to the new conditions. Many crops have a lot of diversity. Maize is an extreme example. It is adapted to many climates. This diversity enables farmers to get new varieties when conditions change. Even though a lot of diversity is already present, farmers may not have access to it. A study in Mexico showed that farmers need a bit of help to access a broader range of diversity. A good crop variety is not easy to get. Farmers may have many options with little information. They maybe need to test before they decide. How can we help farmers to get the right variety? Another limitation is that diversity has a cost. For a seed producer it is cheaper to sell just a few widely adapted varieties. How can we create incentives for a seed system to offer diversity? Participatory crop improvement has become more important over the last decades. But it is expensive and difficult to upscale. How can it become cheaper and part of the business model of crop improvement? The good news is that new technologies can help to reduce information barriers. Online stores earn money by offering a broad range of products. Can the potential of the so-called long tail also be realized for crop varieties? The internet also makes it easier to mobilize volunteers for citizen science projects. How can we use this idea with smallholder farmers? Well, typically smallholder farmers don't have a PC. But they do have a cell phone. Can we use cell phones instead of the internet to involve farmers? Mixing these different ideas, we've come up with a way to combine citizen science, crop diversity, mobile phones and new business models. We are now testing this in the field. In India, we have distributed small packages of seed to 800 farmers in different areas. Farmers give their feedback and we then analyze the resulting data. We are finding out if we can get good data quality by having farmers making their own observations. We will also test if they can report back on their findings using their mobile phone. The key is to simplify matters. Each farmer compares just three varieties and ranks them for different traits. New algorithms make it possible to extract the overall pattern. We also keep track of the environmental conditions and link this to the crop data. We use small, cheap weather loggers to learn about the climate adaptation of varieties. Seed producers can then use the information as market intelligence to boost their seed sales. Farmers get better information about adapted varieties. A win-win situation. This new way of doing things should lead to a sustainable business model. Information about varieties and environments has a value. But we need to take a careful look at how we extract that value. So what has all of this to do with climate change? How does all of this really help farmers to adapt to new and variable climates? Well, climate change is not something of the future. It is already going on. In the picture, my favorite piece of evidence. Climate change is as much about the present as it is about the future. Adaptation is primarily about improvising when change happens. A responsive seed system helps to do that. The ultimate aim is that the whole system becomes smarter. 
information goes around to keep constantly adapting to change, matching seeds to emerging needs.